stay tuned. I'll play you the Jordan Suckley mix of who's All right. <clears throat> it's nine o'clock. Saturday night. It's time for some VR Citizen. Okay, so welcome to VR Citizen. Testing around stuff in the uh, PTU patch for 3.13. And uh, the plan is we do some bounty hunting missions and whatnot with our Hornet that we bought. Our F7, FC7 Hornet that we got. And then we do some ground shooting missions with the new cave stuff. And we take a Cutlass Red that we bought down to the surface and respawn there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, with that, I guess, uh, welcome to the show and follow along. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Let's go. Here, if this becomes a highlight, we'll do a snap at it. I'll just... Okay, so... We're here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, we had problems with the Hornet earlier today. It flew great in Arena Commander. I wasn't getting my horizontal line issues like I did with the Gladius, which is why I upgraded from that after having purchased it on the same day. Either way, whenever I spawned in the PU, or at least the PTU, it would just flop around and bounce up and down on the pad like a fish, and it would basically explode every time. Not really explode, but tear itself to pieces, and, uh, yeah. I'd be able to finicky m jump my way into the cockpit seat, but it was just, like, torn to shreds by the time I was able to turn it on and stabilize it. Come on. Hangar 3. Yeah, it's already bouncing up and down, I can see it. Can I help you? <laughs> Can you bugger off, buddy? Shoo! Fuck off! Yeah, I know. Me too, brother. Okay, we just need... This is actually in fairly decent shape here. I think we got it. Yep, pilot seat. In. Take off complete. Fuck! Don't move forward. Okay.
Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's get down to business. To defeat the hunt. Alright, Tracker's Beginner's Permit. These two great people just had a baby boy too, and they named his child Remy as well. <laughs> Do that. General. Bounty hunter. Verified freelancer bounty assessment. Okay, so let's see here. Beginner's permit. Testing site above Magda. Asteroid surrounding Gala. We'll do this one first. Okay. Just waiting to warp over to Hurston. We kill Kevin Mutt Jewel and then that other guy. And then we warp back over to Crusader. Snag the Cutlass Red. And then we'll go kill those dudes in the cave. And if we die, we'll be able to respawn at the Cutlass. So, ship to ship fighting and then FPS ground shooting. Coming soon. Stay tuned. Man, the head tracking is just. Like, if you ever felt that there was a strut or something in the way, that's not a problem now. Because you can definitely look over the windows. Move around in the cockpit now. That was always a problem I had with the cutlass. The scene above the horizontal line of my instrument panels, right in the middle of the uh, target reticle. there. Just hold on to your butts. I feel like this thing cut the spool like two minutes ago and I've just been coasted. What the... How... Oh, well, whatever. Kevin Mutt, Jewel. Oh, whoops. Bottom drive is now up. Load already? Okay, cool. We got him. <laughs> nice. 
Contract manager will get this other guy here. For him, Burke. Insufficient fuel? Oh dear. Um. Okay, okay, we got this. Get to Hurston. Refuel over there, and then we'll be on our merry way. Go. All right, quantum hydrogen refuel. to Crusader now. Kill this guy and we'll go to that cave. Knee does seem to be kind of going through the control panel, but I'll allow it. And the fact that I lean left or right, my knees do move. That is pretty neat. center, don't I? There we go. Yeah, but it's not being a VR game. The rigging and mocap of all my physical armor pieces and physical characters pretty incredible. <laughs> Kill this guy, then we go grab the cutlass, red, and we go do some cave clearing. New ground missions on Daymar to kill uh, dudes in a cave. Tried it the other night. Got two of them before I ended up getting downed. Didn't have any other armor or weapons to actually take in there, so this time I'll be ready.
Okay, we'll get this guy over at Yela. Then we'll swap out for the Cutlass Red. Get our Stormtrooper on. the hell did the beacon go? Oh, there it is. Warning. Engines overheating. Cool, and he's down. There it is. Warning. Engines overheating. Didn't explode. That's nice. That's red. Beautiful. Cutlass red. Set as preferred ICU. Let's get going. Get our stormtrooper on and bust some heads. All 
right, cave time. All right, while we're heading down to the surface, let's go ahead and check the equipment manager, make sure we got our guns. Armor on. Yeah, yeah. We got plenty of magazines, weapons. Both of them. We got our grenades and magazines, multi tool attachments. Looks like we're ready to rock. Medipens equipped. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. I think that was my chaff. Oh, ooh. Okay, so those are manual decoys I can hit with that, and that's an actual ECM jammer. Got it. I actually hadn't used countermeasures since they messed with them in the patch. Alright, so with the red, we've got the uh, medical bay in the back, and I'd set the uh, ICU to uh, basically respawn me. So if we die, we'll be able to get right back into the action. Should be an easy 30,000 credits if I could clear this place by myself. So seems to be uh, worth it to go save up some cash and get a Cutlass Red in the verse. I think that might be what I do in the actual PU next patch. Maybe do some cargo runs or something with the... Uh... Oh my lord. I was like, wait a minute, there's no atmosphere here? surface a little, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, we'll keep everything running. Open the goddamn door. Alright. Oh, I don't like that shit. I shouldn't have jumped off of that. Are you Alright, cool. Really quickly, we're gonna just reland here. Move over just a smidge. Always do a ramp check. in privilege so it's the perfect moment to mix a cd i'm not really sure if i'm going to do it depends on the tunes that i can find which tracks would you like me to include on that new mix compilation so let me know on twitter use the hashtag asog much better all right you all right So, let's get to clearing. Hello there. Boom.
Oh, okay. Very interesting with the head tracking on. My head actually moves with my... The flashlight moves with my helmet. And so my mouse is aiming my gun and my head is aiming my head. Very handy. That's definitely a dude. Oh, did I kill two already? Oh, well then. Okay, that guy's down. Okay, good so far. That guy's dead.
halfway through here. What the fuck is up with this? Really? Am I? Oh, do I have just a green light on me? Did I activate my... Alright, fuck it. Last four dudes are kind of deep in here, aren't they? should put loot and stuff out here. I should be able to steal these guys' stuff that I'm killing. Welcome to hour number two of this week's Estate of Trance. Just heard a mashup I did for my set in Ibiza last Monday. As Steve Adina drums with the acapella of Paul Van Dyke's Don't Deserve You. Got an email from Simon in Fanger from Switzerland. Oh, He's, uh, there they are. On a bicycle. 5,000 kilometers to the whole well, that's handy to collect money for building water fountains for drinking water in the developing countries his goal is to reach the North Cup in 28 days and he's tuned into a state of trance throughout the whole travel good luck Simon that for doesn't look right and so to support him go to project 5000.ch thank you for your email Peter Kloff and Amanda Gengo from uh, Portland Oregon USA yeah. They're traveling all the way from the States to celebrate Amanda's birthday during a state of trance in privilege in Ibiza Get these little Get cave guys here. Serious uplifting. But first this one by Matthew Dunn. Splint. Whatever.
Alright, well, all four of them are all over there in the same spot for whatever reason. Damn, this is a big cave. Okay, well, we're out of storage. All right, here we go. Gotta be shitty, me. Grab some rock stuff. Dude. Who in their right mind? Put their secret hideout all the way down here. You can't get equipment in and out. I don't care how low gravity it is. Oh, come on! Vault! There we go. Vault! There we go. Made it. Got it.
God damn it. You. There. Alright, he's down. Holy crap, this place is huge. Oh my god, they just lit me up when I got close. Alright, we'll go back in there and we'll use the rock for, um, uh... Use the rock for protection. Let's go. Okay, we're being cautious before, but there's only two of them left. Now we can speed run it. Get to the back of the cave. speed This is... This is the one.
God damn it, come on. Oh my god. The hardest part is this fucking ledge, Jesus. It does not want to let you connect with it, and you just can't make the jump without it. Well, you can, just barely. Okay, what we need to do... Uh, consume a medical pen. Jesus Christ. Save. Goddamn inventory, turn off the stupid glow stick. Okay, there we go. Equipment manager. Medical pens and off. Good. Save and equip. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Equipment manager. Utility. Green quick flare. Unequip. Combat throwable. Grenade. 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 Weapons. Weapon primary. Are you kidding me? P 
AR4 magazine. PAR4 magazine. PAR4 magazine. Save. Okay, we're good. You and let's go. Boom, all hostages cleared. Oh, what is this? Some sort of weird route. Maybe it was for drugs. Let me equip it. Fuck it. Cool. All right. Well, that's all of them dead. Let's check out this cave while we're here. Imagine if you come in with a bigger set of armor and you could store more of the shit. Then again, you could always just come back through. Put your weapons back in your ship. And then um, uh, grab all the goodies on the way back. There's definitely some root stuff that they're getting access to over here. Had to be for making drugs. Outlaws don't just get roots because they're a gardener. <laughs> Interesting. Cool, well with this little test we've uh, discovered that I can aim my head separately and the light follows. Mouse moves the gun. Pretty neat for seeing VR play. Uh, the new cave missions in the PTU for 3.13. Pretty cool, nice and fun. That's an oxygen thing. There should be guns, grenades, and stuff that we could grab inside the caves, I think. Or it should just make it easier to grab guns off of other downed enemies. Equip. Can I carry? Nope. Won't let me. Alright, cool. Well, that's all the dudes over here. Got paid 30k for that mission. Not bad. this way and then yeah
out of this cave. And then I think we'll just do some Arena Commander for a little bit. Got the couple of things that I wanted to do for the video out of the way, so that's nice. Uh, if you're still tuned in and watching, thank you very much for stopping by. As always, stay safe, fly right. At this point, I think we're just going to cap it, and uh, yeah, see me next time, you guys. More adventures with VR Citizen coming soon. Oh, whoa. No, okay. It's something I can grab? No, it is not. So yeah, we'll probably uh, chop and post this video as a highlight, and then I uh, will probably get some Arena Commander 3.13 testing done here as well. And uh, yeah, I'll post that probably later in the week, showing off uh, the new Hornet that I got, as well as just head tracking capabilities and seeing how well I can actually stabilize my neck and shoot enemies but more than likely we'll just give up on that and switch over to the auto gimbals so yeah be on the lookout for that video coming soon check you guys later thank you guys very much watching liking subscribing commenting if you have questions wait a minute i think i missed this I was right next to the exit here, and I just went right past it. Yeah, here we go. Um, in case I just get lost forever in this cave, you guys have a good one. <laughs> Here we go. Two dead guys over there. This is the way. Awesome. it out. What a day it is. Amazing. Nice. Well, with that, yeah, I think we'll cut it. You guys have a good one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay safe. Fly right. Well, I was supposed to go full auto, but whatever.